And the shooting is churches all across the country and right here in Texas, taking a closer look at how they're keeping their members safe. You expect to be safe when you're at church. Our Phil Archer is joining us live. Phil, you spoke with some local pastors about what they're doing now to keep their congregation safe. Yeah, that's clear, Bill. Uh, that is correct. And it is pretty clear now that church leaders here in Houston and across the country in the wake of the Sutherland Springs massacre are now reassessing security, reassessing what they are doing to keep their members safe. Reverend James Nash presides over the St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church in South Houston. Security has always been a concern for him. It's an even greater one now. Man, it struck fear in your heart. When you see what happened, yes, the possibilities of things that can happen. Security became an issue even before the mass murders in Sutherland Springs Sunday and before the Charleston church killings in 2015. That's because churches are the softest of soft targets. In recent years, many have adopted security plans and training for active shooter scenarios. You have to have a plan, not just at church. That's at a movie theater, that's at a, at a work or anywhere else. Right. But church is very vulnerable because people's guards are down. Some larger churches have instituted extensive measures. Second Baptist Church in Houston, for instance, has its own licensed security force. Father Paul Felix, pastor of Houston's Annunciation Catholic Church, says church leaders now have have to balance openness and their members' safety. We cannot pretend like everything's rosy uh, all the time anymore. We have to have be, be very realistic about the reality of evil in the world. Reverend Nash already had security measures in place, but with only 300 church members, there wasn't enough money for paid security officers. But after Sutherland Springs, that may no longer be an option. We're going to have a meeting. We're going to talk about the possibilities of what can happen. And we're talking about maybe putting some funds together where we can hire a security guard. The Federal Department of Homeland Security says more help is on the way for Reverend Nash and other pastors. The head of the department's face based based, excuse me, and neighborhood partnership, says his team has provided security training and advice for about 1,500 church leaders in just the last four months, and he says new initiatives are coming. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.